Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Licious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope you all are doing well and feeling well on tonight. So let's see what's going on with you all. So the first message, um, also guys, real quick, um, this is going to be another one of my taboo readings. So the content could be sexual in nature. Um, it could be exotic, erotic, or what have you. So if you don't want to hear anything like that, um, then this may not be the reading for you to listen to, okay? So the first message you have here, although I don't think this is going to get like too raunchy or too into whatever, but we'll see. So you have here, uh, stay with me because you're all I need, okay? So somebody wants you to stay with them. They feel like um, you're all that they need. Um, of course, this could be somebody that you're already with, or this could be somebody who's just desiring you, okay? We have foreplay here, so this person um, likes a lot of foreplay or enjoys foreplay with you. We have caution here, okay? This says caution. Sex with me may cause severe happiness, multiple orgasms, deep feelings, extreme body convulsions, and induced pleasure. We also have here say my name. So this person wants you to say their name, honey, okay? We have here sexual happiness is an is an important part of a great relationship and last but not least we have here seeing you enjoy every single second of it makes it all feel so much better okay so this person is definitely <laughs> rather sure of themselves okay um, perhaps this so this person view themselves as a good lover a passionate lover or what have you um, they want you they want you to want them, okay? They feel like you're all that they need. This person really enjoys foreplay, okay? This person is definitely um, interested in your sexual happiness. The interesting thing about this person, it pleases them for you to be pleased type of thing with this person here, okay? So this is like not the type of person that's gonna like bust one and then just kind of leave you hanging <laughs> whether you done got joys or not type of thing here okay this person do like it when you say their name though okay and it's also this person also likes seeing your facial expressions they like seeing you when you moan and you groan and all the facial expressions that you make while y'all are getting it on and everything okay so we have here the main male okay so this person um, is saying, stay with me because you're all I need here, okay? So you're clarified foreplay. Clarified foreplay. Oh, wow. Now the mature man wants to come out here, okay? So, um, uh, okay. So either this is two men together or um, that just kind of threw me for a loop, threw me off a little bit. Um, either this is two men together or this this main male mature man might be the same person. This person really enjoys, once, uh, they, they feel like you're all that they need. They enjoy foreplay with you, okay? This is the type of person that can indulge in foreplay in everything before y'all get to the main event of whatever y'all got going on okay wow now i get privileged lady here okay so this <laughs> this is here with caution sex with me may cause severe happiness multiple orgasms deep feelings extreme body convulsions and induced pleasure what is going on here here, okay so we have expectations here okay this person is like sitting in wait honey they're they're anxiously awaiting 
um, you to say their name, okay? This person likes it. Like, I think it turns this person on for you to say their name, okay? Y'all, there's a lot of people coming out here. What in the hell is going on? Now I see the main female and courtship here. Like, what is this? Okay, so we're going to put courtship here on sexual happiness is as important or, or is an important part of a great relationship. Okay, so obviously either somebody you are currently dating or somebody who desires to date you. Okay, Spirit Clarify, um, seeing you enjoy every single second of it makes it all feel so much better. Goodness. So we have the lovers here, okay? So this person is definitely enthralled with you all's intimacy, okay? How you all can please one another, okay? I do see the distant horizon here at the bottom of the deck. So this uh, may speak to the very near future. For some of you all coming in, uh, that this may be coming in for, okay? So um, as I said, this may not be somebody that you are currently with. Let's see what other messages you all get out here. Spirit, clarify, stay with me because you're all I need. So we have new beginnings here, okay? Whatever is going on between you and this person, this is um, this is talking about a new beginning. So this is somebody brand new that is coming in, okay? This is like a freshly new relationship that is about to get started. Spirit, clarify, foreplay. Clarify, foreplay. So we have harmony here, okay? Um, there's definitely going to be a lot of harmony between you all. I definitely feel like you are going to be able to see each other, you know, see eye to eye, okay? Y'all are going to have like this, this deep connection with one another, okay? Spirit, clarify, caution, sex with me causes severe happiness, etc., So we have here the waiting game, okay? So it's like somebody, somebody might be single and celibate right now, but somebody, you know, um, is like anxiously waiting um, or, or waiting to the right time, waiting till they read the right person or something like that, okay? I do see firm foundation here on Say My Name here. Whoever this masculine is that wants you to say his name, this person could definitely... Um, have a very strong foundation this person um could be stable and secure um a real manly man kind of guy here we do have temptation with courtship here on sexual happiness is an important part of a great relationship so you most definitely turn this person on okay um i do see fertility here okay so <laughs> If you all are not ready to have a child together, then you definitely want to make sure you're using contraceptives or birth control or something like that or what have you because somebody could definitely get pregnant here, okay? This lets me know that this the this feminine is fertile, this masculine soldiers is definitely marching here, okay? Perhaps there's some type of love child that's going to come between you all later anyway. Okay, we have passion ignited here, sitting with the lovers here and seeing you enjoy every single second of it makes it all feel so much better. Okay, so you ignite some type of flame, some type of passion within this person. Um, they really get a kick out of seeing, you know, every one of your facial expressions. I feel like this person wants to see it, like they want to know that. Um, you are pleased, you know what I'm saying, you know, because some women, you know, you might be with somebody, okay, and it, it may not be what is all cracked up to be or whatever, and, you know, you could be with somebody that's like fake moaning and groaning like, oh, ah, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but they waiting for you to get done, like, you know, are you done yet or whatever type of thing, I don't feel like that's a thing here with you all, but this person definitely wants to, um, See your facial expressions, okay? It really turns this person on to turn you on or to please you in some type of way. I do see loneliness here, okay? So, um, somebody is definitely, like, lonely, 
to themselves by themselves right now but you all are definitely coming together at some point in time here okay both of you all could definitely be lonely right now or be single okay i see balance here y'all are going to bring balance into each other's lives though okay i see gratitude here as well so there's definitely going to be um this this thankfulness this appreciation for each other yeah we have love here okay so there's definitely love that's going to grow from this situation from this relationship especially if it's something that has um already come together with you all okay like if you're already coupled up with this person um you know, y'all could be well on your way into being, you know, being in love. So let's get some romance oracle spirit. Um, what other messages? So we have romantic feelings here, okay? So somebody definitely has very strong romantic feelings for you. Spirit is saying that your feel feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah. Spirit is also, I see you deserve love at the bottom of the deck that says you are lovable. So I feel like both of you came, I shuffled and it came out anyway, okay? So Spirit wants you to definitely know that you deserve love, okay? You definitely are lovable and there's love that is coming in for you. Spirit wants you to keep an open mind though, okay? Because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations here, okay? And we also have very soon here, Spirit is saying, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, okay? So this is definitely a relationship that has not come together yet, but very soon you all are going to be meeting, you're going to be coming together. We have trust at the bottom of the deck. So Spirit is asking you to have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? So in the very near future, okay, you may be building a new foundation or, or, or reaching or achievements with somebody new, okay? But Spirit is saying it's calling for you to have trust, have faith. Spirit, what other messages do the collective need to know? This person may enter your life as a friend here, but really and truly, this person already has strong feelings for you, okay? I feel, I definitely feel like it's not going to take this person long to, like, ask you out, okay? Yeah, we have sweetheart here, okay? Um, you are a sweetheart. This person feels like you are a sweetheart here. The both of you could be sweethearts here. Yeah, we got lovers here, okay? So this friend, this person is going to come into your life, but that's how you meet a person, right? You know, it start off like, hey, how you doing? Um you look nice today can i get your number you know however it starts off okay so um this person be coming to your life like a friend here okay but that is definitely going to this person's true feelings for you is going to can't be hidden here okay so this friend is definitely going to turn into a lover without a doubt is there any other messages So whoever this feminine is, it's like you're just patiently waiting, okay? Um, perhaps you and this masculine both have been single, have been celibate, um, you know, like, you know, just kind of single to yourself and to wait until you find the right person. But I definitely know this female has. This is the reason why Spirit is saying that you have, uh, that you deserve love here, okay? You've been focusing on being balanced and different things, um, but you're a sweetheart, okay? You've been waiting, okay for the right one to come in i feel like you are like you've been there done that kind of thing you've wasted your time on you know um just dating around and different things like that but very soon love is coming in for you spirit is saying okay this person this is definitely a situation that's going to grow into so much more here okay this person may desire to have you as their wife later on down the line i don't feel like it's something that's going to happen right away but um it's definitely 
has crossed this person's mind or will cross this person's mind at some point in time. So we have faithfulness at the bottom of the deck. Faithfulness talks about being loyal by definition here, okay? So I definitely feel like you all will be faithful and loyal and dedicated to one another, okay? And this relationship, okay, guys? So it's not, this reading is not too raunchy. Um, although clearly, um, <laughs> this person has, um, some s sexual desires for you for sure okay something is faded about you all coming together or when you all come together as well spirit clarify what other messages do we need to know this person is sitting back daydreaming about you right now okay They're daydreaming about you. They're thinking about you. They, Yeah, they definitely want to come in and make you some type of promise, okay? This is somebody who is responsible. They want to come in with some type of confirmation for you or assurance for you in some type of way. But they're definitely, like, really thinking about you. Spirit, what else is going on here? So this feminine, you have okay here, okay? So uh, I feel like you're doing okay right now. It's like you're alone, you're by yourself, but you're okay. You've been focused on uh, stability and harmony as well as acceptance. However, I feel like this new person, when you all come into each other's life, you're going to have this stability and this harmony with one another. You all are going to be accepting to one another as well here, okay? I see triumph here, okay? So success, victories, achievements as well. Are there any other messages? I see Val here, okay? So Val talks about uh, hopes, wishes, uh, as well as worships here. This person may want to make some type of vow onto you, okay? Um, as far as you are connection or relationship in some type of way. Spirit, what else is going on here? Feminine, whoever you are, this is like a very successful time for you, okay? There's, um, I feel like a lot of success, triumph, or victory, luck even, that's coming into your life, maybe in your personal life, okay? And this love um, just seems to be creeping in in the midst of that, okay? I see fate once again. Something is definitely fated about you all coming together here, okay? If this feminine is into spirituality here, um, this says coincidence, uh, fatalism, as well as fortune telling here, okay? You may have done some type of reading pertaining to this new love that's coming into your life or something here, but this says fate here, okay? So besides all of that, there's something that's definitely fated about you us coming together with one another, no doubt. any other messages I see profession at the bottom of the deck here, okay? This could be a uh, the reason why it seems as if that this may be how you all meet through one of you all's profession this may be how you all meet or come into contact with one another in some type of way. Um, you all may work together. If you don't work together uh, specifically, um, it's still possible that you all may meet each other or run into each other and uh, come into contact with each other through your work or through the job that you do. Okay, guys? So that's what's going on here. We're going to see if Spirit have a few extra messages for you all. And we're going to pull the tarot and wrap this reading up. Spirit, what else is going on with the situation here? So I see epiphany here is breakthroughs, okay? So there's definitely 
a new beginning that is happening for you all. Some type of major breakthrough is coming through here, okay? I see uh, receive and open here, okay? Um, this person um, is very going to be very generous, very giving to you. This is the type of person who I'm telling you, this person is pleased by you being pleased or pleasing you, okay? what else is going on here so we have growth in summer here okay this could be a relationship that is coming together in the summertime um this could be this summer but there's definitely going to be growth between you all okay you all are meeting sparks are flying the friendship is going to start it may even lead to something else um, more than that friendship but you, there's something that's definitely some type of growth that is definitely happening between you all this summer here okay once again we have another fake card here okay this talks about the tours something is divine intervention okay i'm telling you it's it's like the most high is coming together and you know bringing you all together in some type of way shape form or fashion so what else is going on yeah you're getting some type of there's something pertaining to um your spirit guides here that's why i just said if this either one of these persons are spiritual especially this feminine here there's something about some type of assistance you're getting some type of assistance from your spirit guides okay that's bringing you all together this person is definitely sitting back watching you okay they're like waiting on the perfect opportunity to come into you. This might even be a soul, a soulmate here. This talks about your unions and soul ties here. Yeah, this person definitely wants to come in and make you some type of offer of some kind here. This is Venus energy. This person may want to make you some type of offer and make you some type of proposal here. Spirit, what else is going on here? There's definitely a lot of attraction. There's going to be a lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry um, between you all. Yeah, I see the sun here. Sun energy here, which talks about strength and empowerment. But I tell you, some type of renewal sparks are happening, are flying between you all as well. Spirit, any other messages? Any other messages there? Yeah, definitely a lot of attraction. Mars energy. Y'all are going to be like hot for, for each other. Seriously. Okay, guys. So let's pull some tarot and see... Um, what other messages Spirit has here for you all? Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages for this reading. the wheel of fortune is at the bottom of the deck here so the will uh, definitely talks about abundance it talks about stability security um yeah look at that will of, oh my goodness will of fortune ten of coins nine of coins ace of cups the star ten of cups these are all the cards at the bottom of the deck y'all like what the hell is going on I told you I kept seeing a lot of abundance here. Whoever this feminine is, is coming into, there's definitely, you're coming into some type of uh, finance and stability, security, finance, money, resources. Um, this could have something to do with like your work or your job or something. Um, there's emotional fulfillment that's happening for you on, on multiple levels here. You're in this star energy here. I can definitely tell you that like your family, this could be your immediate family, 
Um, Because the Ten of Cups can usually talk about family, love, blessings. Um, It can also speak to gatherings and celebrations and and distant family and large groups of people, whatever. But um, this may just have to do with your immediate family here. Spirit, clarify. um, Clarify. Who is this? There, yeah, whatever is happening, you're having some type of success, triumph, and victory, okay? Like, there's something else that's also going on in you all's lives, um, making you very successful. And in the midst of that, it's like you're meeting this new love here, okay? This person definitely want a partnership with you, definitely want a, a relationship with you. They're going to be very generous and giving onto you. Um, very kind, very caring, okay? They want to take a leap of faith and come towards you, okay? This person definitely really desires being with you, okay? They are manifesting you in, honey. They're using every tool that they have available to you to, or to them to manifest you in, okay? They want to come in with some type of offer, okay, for you, okay? Because this person really desires you. This person really wants to be with you. Mm -hmm. This person may send you some type of messages, news, information, or communication very swiftly. This person could travel towards you as well. They could be sending you some messages that they're going to travel towards you or want to travel to see you or something like that. I keep seeing a water sign. I also keep seeing an air sign. Spirit, clarify seeing you enjoying every single moment makes it all the better. Whoever this is, this is an emperor here. You have ignited the passion within this man, honey. Mm -mm. This man might be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But there's also... Hmm... There's also a water sign masculine here. There could be more than one masculine after this woman's heart. Okay. There's definitely changes that's happening that's that in your life here. There's growth. There's moving forward. There's passion. There's drive. There's excitement. There's action being taken here with this higher thing energy. Mm-mm. Yeah. So a lot of fast communication, a lot of messages, swift communication, a lot of speed, with a lot of speed, a lot of activity. Okay. Somebody somebody wants to move forward, move on, move to calmer waters with you. Okay. You could be in this temperance energy. Cool, calm, collect, very tempered, uh, balanced, patient, angelic, angelic being, earth angel, chosen one. You're definitely being uh, um, spiritually guided. But there's there's some change. There's some major changes that's coming in for you, okay? A lot of growth and passion. See, there goes that, there goes that king of cups. I'm telling you, there is a king of cups and a king of swords that is after this... Um, this queen of cups uh energy here okay whether she's actually a queen of cups or not she's definitely especially in this sweetheart energy especially in this temperance energy she's in the queen of cups uh energy very loving caring nurturing affectionate passionate type of person here okay there's a king of cups and a king of swords though that is interested in this woman here. So give us a card for this King of Cups. There's something going on in secret, something going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors here. Somebody may have some type of secrets. Very clear for this King of Swords. What do we need to know about this King of Swords? Wow. Wow. (laughs) 
stop playing y'all y'all ain't even gonna believe me unless i show y'all this shit i asked spirit to tell me about the king of cups we got the moon okay i asked spirit to, ask, to tell me about the king of swords we got the sun <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. So one of these men are, men are doing, are being very sneaky, doing something in, sneak, uh, in secret, something behind the scenes, behind closed doors. And in the other one, there could be happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fresh starts with. It's very interesting too, guys. It is a trip. Look at this card, okay? If you look up in the, the top corner of this card here, you see how that sky looks like the like the um, the sky looks like it's getting dark over here with this King of Cups. You see the the moon up here, okay? It looks if you look at it closely, it looks just like this, like the moon is coming through. It's so interesting. But check this out. If you look at this, okay? Look at him. You see, you see right there. The sky looks clear. It looks daytime. The sun is out here, okay? Same way with this sun card here. Girl, I'm not going to play. I am not going to play with spirit. Okay? But both of these men are after this woman. Lovers. They both want to be lovers with this woman. Yeah, because somebody... Oh my. Oh gosh. Y'all, some other shit could be going on. You remember when I was pulling my other deck? Remember I got the main male and I got the um the mature man and then I got the privileged lady? Y'all there might be some type of third party situation shit going on bottom of the deck i see the five of swords the two of pentacles the three of swords and now i see the queen of cups okay so this talks about conflict fighting fussing cussing arguments and disagreement why because somebody's trying to juggle somebody which is going to end up causing them heartache and heartbreak due to a third party situation here with this queen of cups here so like are these two men together And they both trying to come after this Queen of Cups woman? Want to have her in some third party situation juggling her that's going to cause some type of conflict? Y'all look, 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 look. I hope I'm not reading too much into this, honey. But the Three of Cups can talk about three people's coming together, uh, celebrations. It can talk about a small group of people gathering cheering uh, rejoicing and celebration or it can talk about a third party situation honey but some three three of cups situation is going to bring about some type of conflict because somebody is juggling which is going to cause somebody some type of which is going to cause some heartache and heartbreak to this queen of cups this privileged lady is the queen of cups okay so who playing games here If these two, hopefully these two men ain't together and they ain't got that, you know, shit going on here. But somebody do. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Some type of truth or clarity is going to come out about some type of commitment or a marriage that somebody got with somebody. And this is going to give somebody clear vision to make a decision about something here. There's a lot of this woman here, whoever she is, she's got a lot of suitors. There could be a lot of, there could be more, there's more than one man after her, but somebody is her true divine counterpart, her true soulmate. And somebody else is like playing games, want to treat this woman like a side piece could be in some type of marriage or relationship with somebody else here but it's like more than one person that desires to be her lover but whoever this is that wants to be in this partnership this lover's relationship with her is going to come in being very generous and giving unto her 
They want to take a, they want her to take a leap of faith or either they're going, they're definitely going to take a leap of faith coming towards her, but they want her to take some type of leap of faith um, and be with them here. Because somebody is manifesting something here, which is the reason why they want to come in with some type of offer or gift of generosity here. This emperor here. Lord have mercy. Spirit, clarify this emperor. Who is this emperor? Show me this emperor. Oh, wow. I can't even deal. I cannot even deal, y'all. This is crazy. Now I get it. Y'all, look. I'm not even going to deal. Y'all won't believe me unless I show you. Now you got a king of wands with the judgment here. This king of wands could want this woman too. Okay? He want to try he he want to try to come in and make some type of judgment or make some type of decision about something. It's like all of these men are in competition for this woman. What the hell is happening? Look, let me let me pull my other deck y'all cuz these they didn't, these men that got on my nerves. These men that got on my nerves. Only one of these men is her true divine counterpart. Spirit, um, show me. Show me who is the right masculine. Who is this woman's true divine counterpart? Who is this woman's true divine counterpart, Spirit? Yeah, because see, other persons is trying to come in and betray her in some type of way. They want to step on the toes and get in the way of her, her true soulmate, her true divine counterpart. And I feel like because whoever this woman is, whatever she's doing, she's about to have some type of success, triumph, victory, public recognition. Why? Because this will of fortune is turning in her favor. She's about to come into the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and, and is going to have some type of emotional fulfillment. This person is like in this star energy here okay so these men want to come in look at that ace of earth this woman is about to come into a lot of money yeah she's an empress she's a mother a mother figure here she's about to come into a lot of money ten of pentacles she's got the ace of earth and the ten of earth that's surrounded by this empress okay so it's like all these men are like in competition who gonna get her who gonna be with her or some shit like that yeah but it's like look at this three of earth it's like they all collaborated together for the purposes of money to to see who gonna get in her life like or some shit like that only one of these persons is her divine counterpart so show me give me a face card show me who is this person true divine counterpart Oh, wow. What? <sighs> what? Yeah, this is too much for me. This one gave me a whole headache, y'all. Whoever this King of Cups is, this King of Cups that went to the crossroads and made some type of decision. This person might have saw, they saw, they made some type of fucked up decision, but it's a brunt this and caused some type of conflict. Something, something this king of water decided to do has caused some type of conflict. Look how he's standing here. Look how he's holding his heart. Like, I'm for you. You for me. I'm your true. I'm your, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he done did something fucked up. He even did something freaked up, either in the spiritual realm or the physical realm, against this woman or towards this woman. Whatever this person went to the crossroads and did, it is causing a lot of conflict. And there's a lot of fighting, fussing, cussing, arguments, and disagreement. This man, like, literally might be in a battle with these other men in some type of way. Like, y'all, I'm not going to deal. They done made my whole head hurt. Spirit, I, let me see. Let, who is... Yeah, because something now is causing some type of burdens, hardships, or problematic situations, okay? Somebody's feeling stressed, overworked, and balanced, dealing with burdens, hardships. This is stupid, dumb, crazy. 
Yeah, now somebody is feeling some type of sadness, loss, disappointment, or regret because somebody made a goofball-ass decision here and it's causing some type of conflict. Mm -mm. Whoever it is... Mm -mm. <laughs> Whoever this king of fire is uh, person is here, this person may hold some type of leadership position or position in power. This person might even be a warlock or uh, a high priest or something. He want to swoop in and have some type of commitment or something. He want to swoop in like he's the wise one. He's the wise counselor. And he, he wants to come in like, yeah, eight of coins. He wants to come in like he wants to work with her. Like he wants to have a real commitment, a real marriage, a real relationship or something. But I, I, I don't know if I trust him either. This woman is definitely going to have to look at that. And there go the king of swords. I'm telling you, the same men that came out, a king of air, a king of fire, and a king of cup. Okay? But there's there there's there's some deception going on, bro. Look at this: seven of swords, four uh, seven of air, four air, knight of pentacles. It's like lies, deceptions, manipulation is going on. Okay, these they like sometimes they're trying to lie, lie, cheat, steal, sneak and creep around, trying to get away with something in an effort to hurt this woman just so they can get access to this money here. Hell yeah, and cause a child, cause a sacrificial death to this 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 page of cups child here. I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit. I don't know what this this uh this privileged lady is doing. Um, especially with all this money that's coming in for her and this star energy or whatever. But th these these men is out to like sabotage and ruin her. And if she got a child. They're trying to sacrifice her child. They're trying to get their hands on her child as well as the money. They want to come in and mind fuck her so they're able to do it. This is crazy, y'all. This thing got off into something totally different, okay? I'm thinking I'm doing y'all a little sexy taboo reading, love reading for y'all. And this thing, look at this, betrayal. All of these people are trying to betray this person in this person. Be disloyal to this person. There's something, there's some type of betrayal that's going on here, bruh. So we're clear for this king of air. What is his motives? What is his motives? What is this king of air's motives? This king of air might be a high priest too. He might be a high-ranking high priest. Mm -mm, this person want to lock you down. Have you on the clink clink? <laughs> okay, he wants to come in like he want to bring about some type of change in your life. He the one that's going to come in being real generous and being real giving here. But there could be some type of third party situation. Like it'll seem like it's all cool and celebrations and friendships and community and everything. But it might wind up being some type of third party situation here. You, who, whoever this woman is, you got options, baby. You do have options, and you got several of them, okay? I feel like it's going to be a king of earth, a Capricorn Taurus, a Virgo masculine is going to come in and tell you some type of truth or clarity. Because these other men over here, um, yeah. The king of the king of water then did the goofy. He then went to the crossroads, sold his soul, and made a fucked up decision. Now it's causing us some type of conflict. Okay, now he dealing with some type of disappointment, sadness, loss, or misery here, okay? The king of fire want to come in like he the wise counselor, all charismatic and passionate, like he the real commitment, you know, the, the wiser choice, okay? And want to come in like he want to work with you. The king of air want to come in and like, you know, <laughs> I can make you a celebrity overnight. You know, he want to come in and change your life and be all generous and giving to you or whatever. But you'll be a whole third party situation. Look, I'm not going to deal, okay? But this will of fortune is turning in your favor here. You got hella options. You can do what you want to do, <laughs> okay? Um, like, seriously, okay? But 
it, it's hard for me and there's something about your profession i feel like you meeting all of these men coming into contact with these men because of the profession you are in or what you do for work okay but these people gonna literally have you feeling overloaded like overworked you know hella busy and shit like that but these people want to come in like they care so much about you and your child and shit they want to come in like they your friends and shit with friendship being here okay some of them may even want to come in with some type of half-ass apology as to what you done dealt with here so they can get close enough to you to rob you for something that you got here okay we got sweetheart and here you are a sweetheart okay you all about family you a sweetheart you all about family love happiness okay self-care abundance and shit like that ain't nobody been single and celibate and and you know all this time just to get back in the game to deal with this bullshit okay perseverance here and it's like mm -mm, yeah Mm -mm. And it's like they they determined to come towards you, even some bearing gifts in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. But spirit is telling you to stop. Spirit is telling you to wait. Spirit of love is telling you to hold love, slow down, mama. Go. Why? Because death is here. Okay. It's some fools that might be trying to take you out. Okay. I don't know how you come into all this damn money. I don't know what it is that you do for damn work. Okay. But all these 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 fools here, they like three six nine. Damn, she fine. Please, could you suck it to me one more time? Get low, okay? Like no, <laughs> like seriously. I'm trying to say, honey, I ain't gonna say you know lie, child. I tried to look at this page of air at the bottom of the deck. Girl, I'm being brutally honest with you, honey. This might have went all the way to the left, okay? But look. Whew, it's better that you be safe than sorry, honey. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth, okay? But um, you got choices and you got needs too. And should you decide that you want to shoot, okay? You can make it do what it do. And send these niggas home until you get you you decide, okay? You done found the right one, okay? Because, I mean, you know, but, I mean, don't jump head first. Don't jump head first into nothing, okay? Because it's a whole lot of going on around here that I I'm not even really liking here. You gonna there's a there's a earth sign here. It's it's interesting because it's like he ain't even in the mix. Like he didn't come out with these other guys that was trying to be with you here okay but it's like with this 444 being here there's an earth sign capricorn towards a virgo masculine that's gonna come through and tell you some type of truth or clarity about what the hell is going on here okay mm -mm. if you truly are a water sign feminine this water sign masculine is your twin okay but your soulmates could be one of these other cats but if they was regular every day uh, every day average joe guys they'd probably be all right you understand what i'm saying but with you coming into this wealth and the star being here and whatever it is that you do for work, you coming into all this money, if you coming into some type of fame or fortune or attention or recognition or popularity, if you fucking in the industry, these niggas here, they already in way too deep, okay? They already in. You understand what I'm saying? So they all, these, these cats is already down for the six. You understand what I'm saying? Before you even get there, okay? You know what I'm talking about? Like, seriously. That's some betrayal in the mix, bro. Like, but. <laughs> oh, child. Mm -mm. Some of these cats might be that Zodiac freak you've been looking for, honey. Okay. 
might get some of that Tyrese out of the out of out of some of them. But you know, then too, like <laughs> baby, uh, a, a nigga like Tyrese, you know what I'm saying? I think Tyrese, a Capricorn, that might be the one to come along and tell you the damn truth, honey. I don't know. You understand? I don't know. <laughs> Girl, mm -mm. this too much, honey. But like <laughs> the King of Cups, you gonna get the moon, okay? Look, I, I'm 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 trying to help you make it do what it do, okay? The best I can. The King the, the King of Cups gonna come with the moon, baby. He got secrets. He got hidden things. He got sneaky freak creepy things. He gonna be doing things behind the scene here. The King of Swords, um. He coming with the sun, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It, 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 it could be some happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fresh starts there or whatever. Like, his issue is there might be some third party shit going on. The King of Cups issue is he got secret shit going on behind your back here. The King of Wands here, he coming with the he coming with judgment. Okay. This this one but here is a dictator, okay? He he controlling. He's bossy. He's manipulative. He's explosive when he's mad. He's 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 dominant. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Mm -mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Look, girl, I don't know what you gonna do, honey. You got a whole lot at the end of the day, you got a lot of success, triumph, victory, and she coming in for you. Okay. For sure. Okay. And these are people that like you gon you gonna come into contact with, okay? Like they 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 coming in uh hot and ready like little seasons or some chat okay um with this two of cups energy lovers energy honey but look mm -mm. whatever you do don't let nobody spend no night honey unless you <laughs> unless you short that's what you want to do, okay? Now, you can, you, you a full grown ass adult, okay? You can hang out with who you want to hang out with. You can be friends with who you want to be friends with, okay? Um, you know, <laughs> you can do what you want to do, okay? But, um, yeah. There's some other stuff that's going on here, okay? But, yeah. Somebody wants you to stay with them, though, okay? Because they, 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 I'm telling you, they going to be, like, all up in your, trying to be all up in your feelings, okay? Pulling on your heartstrings. Stay with me because, I'm, you, you know, you're all I need, okay? And somebody here, that's why, and that's the reason why caution came out here with you. Whoever you are. You got some pussy power on you, and these men might know it here, okay? There's a certain level of energy, a certain, uh, like, your, your, your energy, your essence, your magic that comes along with being with you, especially sexually here, okay? You could be a powerful manifester yourself, um, besides sexually here, because the caution came out here with you. Spirit is telling you to have caution, okay? Um... Uh, why sex with you can cause severe happiness, multiple orgasm, deep feelings, extreme body convulsions, and induced pleasure here, okay? Um, you know, don't mess around and make these men lose their mind, girl, but you gotta, you gotta, mm -mm. I'm trying to tell you what's going on before it goes on. Okay, but somebody here, you got multiple suitors who want to be in some type of partnership or relationship with you, want to, lovers here, this, this is, this is me who wants to have sex with you, okay, a person, when the two of cups come out here, somebody want to be in a relationship with you, when the lovers come out here, somebody's desire to have sex with you, is attracted to you sexually, okay, somebody want to come in bearing gifts, being all nice and giving and generous and, and things like that or whatever, okay, but you are already standing on your own two feet okay you getting your own bread you understand what i'm saying 
So we ain't never chasing the dude with the fattest wallet type shit, okay? We ain't gold diggers over here. But, you know, at the same time, it's nice for a good man to, you know, any good man gonna want to do for, you know, his woman or whatever. But, like, whoever this emperor is here with this magician, this four cups and this emperor here, like, he trying to manifest the hell out of you and his energy okay like this man could even be doing some love spell sex magic type of shit okay but he wants to come in and make you some type of offer here because whoever is in this magician energy see these tools that he have look very closely he got a tool from from every element of the zodiac here he got a wand he got a sword okay he got a cup so so in the terms of other elements uh you know he got coins here okay so you know what i'm saying <laughs> he got the earth wind fire <laughs> and some bullshit okay like everything i don't know honey you gotta be you gotta be careful this emperor want to come in and make you some type of offer honey okay you've ignited some type of passion with him within him he wants to be lovers with you this is the one who um he he likes seeing you um enjoying every single um, uh, second of it makes it all feel so much better okay yeah somebody that's coming in giving you this offer here they want some type of reunion with you, some type of soul tie here, okay? But this person got lustful temptations and desires for you as well. But this may be the one who actually want to date you, want to have some type of courtship or something with you here. This person that's manifesting you in, there's some type of, something is faded here. Some type of divine intervention is happening, okay? Somebody do have a firm foundation, but it's like they sitting in expectation, waiting on something to happen or something like that okay yeah this person has something this person is somebody in particular that wants a partnership with you wants a relationship with you okay you gonna have some type of with this epiphany here this is like a you know one of those awakening moments light bulb moments okay where there's some type of breakthrough okay and there could be some type of new beginning with whoever this main male is okay Whoever this mature man is, okay, he done been there, done that, okay, he done been here before, okay, so he, he, he's gonna come in being generous, that's the reason why we got the six of coins here with the receive and open here with the harmony, mature man here, he's the one who is definitely into foreplay and different things, and that's the reason why you sitting here with waiting game, okay, so, cause it's like you single, you celibate, you not even having sex, you single as a Pringle, or whatever you ain't doing nothing but spirit is seeing you getting some type of assistance from your spirit guys okay so make sure you follow your your intuition okay with what's going on okay because there is definitely a lot here but that's why i was telling you there's like so many people whoever you are just being real with you i looked over the other women because a woman was already out here but remember when i was pulling the first set of cards i was like there's a lot of people here okay you got younger men around your age that's attracted to you you got older men than you attracted to you you have other women that's attracted to you <laughs> like mm girl be careful honey be careful it's all i'm telling you okay but amongst these persons is your soulmate like it's your divine partner or something like that okay and if it's like you can get through the bs okay y'all are going to have some type of con you know this divine connection with one another okay guys this is totally a trip i just i haven't really seen anything like this before this is seriously a trip i wasn't expecting this okay but yeah it's like there's several men who's like competing for your time competing for your attention competing for you but i feel like 
this is going on behind your back type of thing it's not like it's not even like you you know you've been stringing all of these men along type of thing or what have you um it's like these men is competing each other. They're either competing for you in the spiritual realm or these men know each other personally and competing with you like personally on the earthly realm. Like it's a trip. But that's what's going on here, y'all. Okay, but something is faded. Um, no matter who you come into contact with, something is definitely faded. Um... Be careful who you have sex with, though, okay? Because, yeah. You don't mess around. You don't want to mess around and get nobody head sprung and, and fools get to acting crazy, okay? But, um, to be quite honest with you, whatever you have going on in your personal life, especially in reference to, um, like your career and things like that um i'm gonna be real honest with you i feel like a lot of people trying to get in your energy trying to hook up with you now act like they so attracted to you now or whatever because they want what you got or they want what's coming to you okay that's the truth that ain't nobody gonna tell you okay but there is brand new beginnings that's coming in for you. Spirit is saying you do have options. Spirit is saying you do have options, okay? There is definitely, here you are, this mature woman. There is definitely a younger man, a main male that like you. As you can see, this, this main male looks um, a little bit younger than this mature man here. Both of these men are interested in you, okay? But there's also another man, and there's a woman as well. You just, girl, look. <laughs> do what is best for you honey this ain't gonna be everybody's story this is definitely for somebody in particular but um be careful okay because people got their eye on you okay people definitely have their eye on you okay and you'd be surprised what lens people would go to um to get in your energy to get what you have or to to get something from you or what have you you understand what i'm saying because i guarantee you probably never in your life have you probably had that many people that's just like falling over themselves or something um to be in a relationship with you or something so there's definitely something else is going on here okay um only one in particular person is probably going to be like your divine person okay but it is possible for to have multiple people in involved with you because one person could be a twin flame one person could be a soulmate one person could be you know whatever type of individual okay but yeah that's what's going on here guys i can't believe this came out like this king of cups moon King of Swords, Sun, King of Wands, Judgment. <laughs> and whoever this King of Wands is, I feel like you see him there with that wand. It's like he wants to dictate, control, and rule like everybody, okay? Like even these other men <laughs> here in some type of way. Like he want to bring down some type of judgment on everybody. Like to stake some type of claim to you or uh, something like that or uh, what have you and it's like who is this person like you know what i'm saying like you don't even know this person this person don't even know if you would be agreed like if you would want to be with them or whatever and you see him here with this wand here i think he's some type of warlock okay he might be some type of high priest or something Because you see this King of Cups, he out here in this water, he, you know what I'm saying, he's going to have, he's probably, this King of Cups is probably going to have the most of feelings and emotions than all of them. But there's, there's something going on with this King of Cups that he's hiding or he's doing in secret 
or he's being sneaky about. You could actually have a lot of fun and excitement and adventures and new beginnings and happiness and abundance and different things with this King of Swords. But I feel like he got a third party situation going on. Most of these people, any one of these people or all of them could have a third party situation going on here, okay? But I'm talking about the in particular things that's going on with each one of them that may make you be like, mm, nah, you know what? I'm not supposed to deal with that or whatever. But this king of wands here, he's like straight up like, you know, this dictator. He's very dominant and controlling and there's like nothing wrong with being a manly man, okay? But like when you have to bully other others into submission, you know, type of thing. Somebody definitely wants to travel towards you and tell you some type of, give you some type of truth or clarity. They want some type of commitment with you, a marriage with you or something. Mm -mm. These people, somebody is working hard to get to you. Or something though I want to see real quick before we go guys damn we already been on here over an hour hold on I want to see something since we got these other three men out here I, w I just want to see for the sake of seeing uh, what's going on with this um, with this earth sign masculine Since, um, you know, these other guys have come out here. There's a woman who is, like, attracted to you and interested in you as well. I'm not sure if you bisexual. <laughs> but, uh, um, it's like people sitting and wait to try you. You know what I'm saying? To like, you know what I'm saying? So, clarify this king of coins. What is going on? What is hidden about this king of coins? Or what else do we need to know about this king of coins here? Well, damn. Ace of cups. Mmm. Mmm. This earth sign. <laughs> he wasn't even in the mix. That's why he went in the mix with these other guys. These other guys, it's like they are they competing in competition and collaboration with each other. To get close to you, for your money, to lie to you, to hurt you, to harm you. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like they somebody sending them in, paying them, whoever can get you for, you know, type shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. Real talk, I'm telling you what I'm looking at, okay? This, um, whoever this king of pentacles is, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, masculine, he sit here with the ace of cups, bruh. That's emotional fulfillment. This might be your soulmate right here. You're going to have fun, have a good time with this King of Swords here. Okay? I'm telling you because with him sitting here, he's sitting here with the sun. The sun talk about happiness and abundance and talk about passion. Y'all might have good sex and some more shit, bruh. Like real talk. You'll have a lot of fun with this person here. Okay? But what else is there besides fun, besides a good time? You know what I'm saying? Like, is this person, like, serious about actually being with you here? This King of Wands, he here with the judge right here. Like, he, 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 you know what I'm saying? He, he's very dominant, very controlling. He bully people into submission. He's, uh, you know, in this dictatorship type of energy. You know, I'm the boss type of thing. You know, you, you know type of shit here but whoever you are here you are the empress bruh in between all of them okay whatever is going on with you though is some major shit that's going on with you look at you you sitting here all oh, pretty honey and you see that owl right there whoever you are you highly intuitive because you getting your you getting knowledge just like what i'm giving to you like this owl is giving you you sitting here, all sexy, all pretty, you know what I'm saying, being you, okay? And all of these men is all around you, okay? Whatever you got going on in your life, you about to come into some type of success, triumph, victory, or public recognition, okay? And these guys know it. When 
as you come into the success, triumph, and victory here, this will of fortune is in the upright. It's turning, bruh. Stability, security, finances, money, resources, abundance coming in for you, bruh. Okay? Nine of pentacles, independence, contentment. Okay? Luxuries. This is coming in. This is what, this is you. All you on your own, okay? And you got three of these cats. They trying to get in where they fit in. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? Change here. There's major changes. It's getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to come into your life here. I told you, you a high priestess, bro. That's why this owl is talking to you. So I don't know how they think they're going to get over on the high priestess because you know secret knowledge. You know secret information. You're highly intuitive. You're wise. You're psychic. You're an empath. Your third eye is open if you a real high priestess. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they want to juggle you. They want you to be foolish enough. They want you to blindly, foolishly take that leap of faith and smooth walk off that damn cliff with them. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. When I said that, this remind me. Y'all remember what was that? Um uh, that was Kendrick Lamar and Rihanna loyalty. Remember, they was on the top of that like skyscraper, sk uh, skyscraper building, and on the part, and uh, Kendrick was like, "Do you trust me?" And <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He just was dangling Rihanna off the side of the fucking building, like, "Dude, we cool?" But like, yeah, I don't, I don't know about you dangling me off the side of this damn building. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. It's like somebody wants you to walk off this cliff with them. They want you to. Foolishly, blindly take a leap of faith to deal with them. Like, like the Kendrick Lamar dude, he he would be this king of swords right here. Okay, we we'll sit here with the sun. Okay, y'all have a good time. Y'all be cooling. You know what I'm saying? But like, what else is there, bro? You want me to walk off a cliff with you? <laughs> like, do you trust me? You don't understand what I'm saying? This um, king of cups. This would be like, I'm talking in the terms of celebrity. I'm not saying this is actually these people and, and what's going on. This King of Cups, this would be like a, a, a Drake, bruh. This would be like a Boosie. You know what I'm saying? King of Cups. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, it just depends. You know, this would be like a, um, it's a whole lot of King of Cups out here. This would be like a, um any other type of king of cups what Shaq is a king of cups there's a lot of king of cups out here okay but this king of cups has got um some hidden or some secret is going on behind the scenes bruh you understand what i'm saying like dude look uh -uh. somebody wants you to foolishly take a leap of faith like these other guys that want to play with you or something it's like they want you to foolishly take some type of leap of faith to deal with them just so they can juggle you bro with the two of pentacles like they want you to be a fool so they can hide you in the two of pentacles juggling you you understand what i'm saying yeah look at that in this water sign here look at that seven of swords is a liar and a cheater here okay a deceiver a manipulator a con artist or whatever because they dealing with a five of wands i mean excuse me they dealing with a queen of wands chick somebody is dealing got a fire sign woman in their life so this aries or leo here okay um with the five of wands, there will be jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, competition, and shit, okay? It will cause somebody to get hurt in this motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? This king of wands, man, with the judgment here, this would be like a, a Jay-Z. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this nigga's a boss. He's also a 33-degree mason, bruh. You understand what I'm saying about the dictatorship and the... But you gotta understand... I'm, I'm trying to break this down to y'all in the terms of celebrities and different things or whatever. Because whoever you are, you obviously got big things popping. Whatever you doing in your life. You understand what I'm saying? You in this empress energy, you obviously a mother, okay? So you obviously, this is the reason why family is important to you. Your child is important to you, okay? So your children is going to come first for you in your life. But whatever you got going on, babe, this will of fortune is turning in your favor. You coming into abundance, stability, security, you know what I'm saying? All kinds of shit. And there's other people that see this, that notice. They want to get in where they fit in because they see these changes is happening in your life, coming into your life or whatever. You in this high priestess energy, you better listen to your intuition and follow your wisdom though okay 
something gonna give you the motivation and determination though like some of you might end up falling like one of these guys here that's wrong for you might be a little bit more sweet talking a little bit more generous giving than than the other or some type of shit like that or whatever you might end up foolishly taking some leap of faith to be with the wrong one that's gonna have you that's gonna be juggling you in some type of way you understand what i'm saying they want to be juggling you okay playing childish games with you okay lying to you with with a fire sign woman here okay oh shit somebody got a fire sign woman in their life and an earth sign woman in their life oh he think he a player from the himalayas honey oh he think he pimpy. okay Okay, but that's the reason why so much jealousy, so much competition, honey, okay? He got hoes in different area calls and shit. He, 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 he got women all across the damn zodiac and shit, okay? You know, he already got him a five side woman, got a earth side chick, you know what I'm saying? If you a water side, he want to add you to the mix, but he'll be juggling you just like he juggling all the other women here. That's the reason why the five of ones here. Jealousy, competition, and shit like that or whatever. Somebody going to wind up getting hurt here, okay? But it's going to give you the motivation and determination, the passion, the drive to take action and to move forward once you find out some type of truth, okay? About the fact, because somebody is married. The four of wands here, somebody's got a family. Somebody is married. Somebody's going to be stringing you along. That's going to give you the, the vision, the clear vision to make a decision to move forward here. Yeah. I ain't saying these cats is broke neither. You understand what I'm saying? It's a couple of them that I see is straight up, you know, they draped up and dripped out. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm talking about? Like seriously. They got that paper too. Okay, so I ain't saying that that, you know. These not broke dudes or whatever, but it, it's some of the most this is going on. The most this is going on. And it's like all of them want to come in. All of them want to come in. They want to be your lovers. And every last one of them is going to come in being generous and giving to you. Okay? But you might experience sadness, loss disappointment regret with a number of these cats right let me get y'all one more message spirit give us one more clarif clarifier for this king of cups one more clarifier for this king of cups one more clarifier for this king of cups please five of pentacles here this person might abandon you. This person might leave you out in the cold. Uh, leave you in lack or worry or in need of assistance or something like that. Or, uh, yeah. Or this person might be in that energy. But I feel like this is the, the what, um, mm mm. Spirit, clarify this. Um, yep, I told you that's what it was. See, look. King of Swords. The King of Swords, you y'all, y'all gonna come, y'all could come together, y'all gonna celebrate, y'all gonna drink, y'all gonna turn up, y'all have a good time, like friends, though. Like friends, okay? But if you do anything more with this person, it'll just be you being on your grown woman shit him on his grown man shit and y'all decide to make it do what it do because it would be a third party situation this person is with somebody okay it would be a third party situation here like y'all could come together and rejoice in celebration okay which is uh, which is what the sun talk about happiness abundance new beginnings fresh stars fun excitement joyful cheerful type of energy you know what i'm saying but if you do anything more with this person, it's going to be a third-party situation. Look at this. 
you get with this king of one is gonna be conflict baby five of swords energy i'm telling you he coming with the judgment you would think he was a fucking air sign like a judge or something okay a lawyer or something like he 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 all up in air energy or something you would expect this shit from the air sign or something this the king of one and judgment as energy y'all go good girl that be all type of fighting fussing cussing arguments disagreements misunderstanding it be conflict between y'all okay don't do that to yourself and check this out look at this king of cups and the king of wands they in five energies okay fives talks about change tens talk about completions endings okay don't get it twisted let's very clarify this king of pentacles Look at that girl. Didn't I tell you? There go there go there you go. This is the reason why the King of Pentacles did not come out in the mix of these three men here. These three men, they are in some type of collaboration. These three men, I wouldn't be surprised if they know each other. They in some type of competition, a collaboration to get you. See to see who gonna get you first or some type of shit. But they it's it's all a setup to like hurt you in some type of way or whatever whoever this person is is your darn soulmate damn mm -mm. wow but look however whatever order these persons come in okay And you ain't got to be mean and nasty and hateful and belligerent and ignorant and wretched and loud and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You can continue to be kind, to be nice or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to meet these person and fuck these people the same damn day. You know what I'm saying? Or no shit like that or whatever. So there's nothing wrong with being friendly, being kind to somebody, getting to know somebody, okay? But being a high priestess. I would damn sure make sure I know. Okay, if you a high priestess, you should know how to. You should have a good relationship, and with the with the spiritual realm. Okay, I would damn sure make sure I know these men well enough to know what's your zodiac sign. You know what I'm saying? What's this that you claim? You know what I'm saying? Where you come from? <laughs> What's that you about? You understand what I'm saying? And go back and be like, oh, okay, and be real nice and be real kind, okay? And you know. When you by yourself, go to your damn spirit, guys, okay? Go to the most high, whoever, whatever you believe in, okay? And get you some clarification about who you're dealing with and what you're dealing with. Because I'm telling you, I don't know what order these men going to come into your life. But it's fated for you, meet them, for you to meet them all. But only one of them is your divine counterpart. It's your soulmate, okay? Every last one of them going to come into your life like they want to be lovers. They're going to be real generous to your ass, okay? Some of them got such secret shit they in the closet. Some of them married and got family already. Some of them abusive, womanizers, and controlling. Okay? Know what you're getting yourself into, okay? Listen to your wisdom and follow your intuition, okay? And don't forget, I told you so, okay? But I already let you know that you're getting assistance from your spirit guides, okay? You, don't, you never know. I might be one of your spirit guides, okay? But till the next time, guys, peace, love, and light. Namaste. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can uh, do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond36 with the underscore between each word. Um, for any persons interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is right. dollar sign tip diamond36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, Sonny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.